Okay, um, hi. This video is to show you how to download um, mergers and acquisitions data from Econ. So for this video, I will assume um, you have basic understanding on how to log into Econ, on how to navigate uh, Econ. So what you really want is you want to go in and get m and information. So in, once you load Econ, um, so click on the menu bar to the top on the top uh, left, and then you go screener. Okay, so you can enlarge this by double clicking on the on the on the top. Okay, and then what you want is um, so hypothetically I want to search for um, UK merger deals. So I'll select I want um, to use GBP as a default currency. Uh, GBP. Okay, and then universe I want deal deals. Okay, so so it's important to select this. So it's M and A deals. Okay. Now on the side, you can select or specify your filtered criteria. So um, there are different ways to go. So I can go um, nation of headquarters, perhaps maybe not. Um, ideally, maybe country of listing or country of incorporation. Okay. So I don't see that in this quick filter. So what I'll do is I'll put. I think it's called nation. Um, so nation of incorporation and let me add that and see and then you can so let's just go and then you can go united kingdom okay another way we can do this would be maybe by listing so nation of listing okay or exchange i think it is um, nation of primary stock exchange yep so um, so this would be companies that are listed in the London Stock Exchange or UK Stock Exchange. Um, okay, so I think that that would be a broader population than incorporation because typically not all companies that are incorporated in the UK. Uh, sorry, not all companies that are listed in the uh, on the stock exchange are incorporated in the UK. Okay, so United Kingdom. I guess this makes the other one redundant, but I'm going to take. So let's take out. Um, let's take our country of incorporation. I'll leave that in. Yeah. You know, and you, know, you can search by date as well, transaction date. You know, so date announced, um, and then you can make that um, a custom filter. So maybe let's go 1990, just as far back as you really want to, really. Um, if we just go, just for the purpose of this, uh, apologies, my internet is uh, fluctuating. Um, so if we just specify 1999, and then we can go maybe June last year. Okay, so about 9,090 um, M&A deals. Okay, now on this section, so you can add parameters that you want in your data. So at the moment you have the M&A deal number, date announced, rank, etc. Okay, so let's assume you want board level information. For instance, add it. let's see if there's anything board here. Um, well, actually, maybe not, but, you know, I think there is board information on the company. So you need to change um, the M&A parameter uh, to that. Uh, but, but essentially, this is really um, a quick snapshot of how you can get um, M&A data, mergers and acquisitions data from Econ. Um, and you can add as many fields as you want to. So if, for instance, um, so, so, yeah, so you can add different columns. So if uh, maybe total assets, okay, last 12 months, yeah. Uh, you know, so just to finish up one thing, I would recommend um, if you're dealing with money, so I think it's important that you work with 
um, a few um, an ID comp organization ID or palm ID and the reason being that if there's a co-production this ID doesn't change okay, whereas if you use icing for instance then icing does change um, so it's difficult to map information over um, over time particularly when company changes okay so I think it's um, palm ID or um, organization ID, one of the two. Org Palm ID. Yeah, acquire Palm ID. So you can acquire a, a target ID, depending on which one. Yeah, so hope you found this helpful. Um, thank you for listening.